hello guys my name is Asad Ali and uh, in this video series I'm going to talk about how you can use Python uh, and Google Cloud virtual machine and uh, update the data regularly on uh, Google Sheets and uh, I'll tell you step by step what you're going to need and how you can set up all this process uh, to scrape and schedule data on a virtual machine and update your Google Sheet every day or every minute uh, as you uh, may want to do so let's start first of all what you need to do is uh, you need to have some basic basic knowledge about Python and its libraries its basic syntax if you haven't just uh, uh, watch my previous videos some basic stuff uh, not much uh, just watch few videos and you will have some basic understandings about uh, Python and syntax so let's start first of all uh, some overview uh, I'm going to scrap this website uh, name uh, quotes dot to scrap dot com and uh, I will be updating these quotes and uh, <coughs> their author and some tags and I'll I'll be going through these pages and I'll update this uh, my Google sheet too with all these quotes and uh, uh, schedule that on my virtual machine so how I'm going to do it uh, let's uh, let's start uh, let's create a new folder in my tutorials folder naming as uh, Google Sheets let's, say it's, let's call it scrap to Google Sheets great okay I have a folder now let's create a Python file here new file let's let's call it uh, scrap let's scrap the web scrap one okay that's cool okay first uh, in this uh, video I'm going to tell you how you can scrap this website and in coming videos I'll be discussing in detail step by step everything you need to know about uh, scheduling your script Python script uh, on a virtual machine so first things first uh, I'm imp going to import some libraries uh, import requests is the first library I'm going to use first I'm going to scrap this website and then I'll tell you what libraries you need to uh, upload this data to Google Sheets and further so first of all uh, I need the link of a website let's copy this and uh, let's create a function that is a better way to do things okay so first what we have here is page equals to requests dot get get is one what uh, we need to uh, request the page content here uh, okay now what we need is a parsing library what we are going to do here we have two options we can either use beautiful soup or we can use uh, LXML I prefer to use LXML for plenty of reasons one of the reasons is XPath I use XPath X, XPath a lot so I use LXML library so let's import the LXML library from LXML import HTML okay I have another video telling in detail about what uh, LXML can do and what beautiful soup can do you can go back to my channel and why that if you don't know anything about this but uh, I will tell you along the way about these libraries okay so what we need to do is we have the page content with request library we got the content in our page variable now what we need to do is we need to pass pass that page content to our parser that is HTML so okay so we have here is what do we call it let's call it content okay content uh, and uh, HTML dot from string okay and uh, what we are going to do with our page is we are going to get the content of page and <coughs> pass it to our uh, HTML library got it now uh, all set let's return our content and we will be parsing it in our next function run content got it okay now what we are going to do is we are going to parse our HTML okay we have a content here equals to requests 
beg your pardon request okay now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use this uh, content that is in our HTML uh, library we are going to parse it and extract the data we need so what do we do here what we are going to need is uh, the quote and author and some tags okay right click on the and open inspect and uh, let's find our containers first okay here we go here we have our containers it's simple nice and simple uh, class is code and dev let's use that okay uh, what we need to do here is we need to use xpath so we have containers here and content dot xpath and uh, let's look at our object dev class equals to okay beg your pardon let's copy that i forgot to copy that you can simply write that as well but i prefer to copy it because sometimes there is space before and space after uh, say if there is space before and space after uh, our parser have has hard time locating it so let's simply copy and paste this okay great what we have here is a container now let's uh, loop through this container and get what we are looking for what we are looking for here is the text here that is uh, nicely uh, placed inside a span container with class name text let's copy that text and use that as a attribute okay let's loop through first for container and containers <clears throat> okay what is the what is the code code is code equals to container dot xpath don't forget to put dot before xpath when you are uh, parsing a subcategory or sub container let's cool span and class text name we are going to use we have here is span class equals to text so we have got our code so what we need is next thing is text we got slash text will retrieve the text from a HTML element so what what is the next thing we need next thing is the author let's see what we have got here author has a tag name small and uh, class name author very cool okay small class uh, and that's what we are going to need going to need author and container dot xpath okay small class equals to author that's fine uh, in the same tag so we can use slash text to extract our uh, author name okay what's the next thing we are going to need next thing is uh, our tags okay let's look at these tags and uh, use their okay two things here first thing is if either we can use uh, a tag with class tag and extract multiple or we can use uh, this main container uh, I'll tell you why I'm using main container instead of directly picking up these individually okay let's use them oh, okay beg your pardon what was the tag okay it's tags uh, tags here are a container dot xpath okay div class tag cool and what's the next thing we are going to <coughs> need uh, okay remember that if I do it like slash a and write uh, separate xpath for each of these what is what happens is I will have to uh, do indexing for example let me explain here like if I use this and uh, extract beg your pardon extract uh, text for this I will have to use indexing for each tag that will lead me to lead to a uh, um, I mean if there are two tags and I uh, 
uh, assign three variables like tag one, tag two, tag three. For tag three, it will raise an error. So for better way to do it is uh, use a uh, indexing inside your Xpath. So how um, uh, how I am going to do it? Let me show you. Here I have a div tag with just next. Uh, a tag is just next to div tag so I'm going to single slash going to use single slash and with one slash text this is the first tag first tag same thing I'm going to extract maximum three tags that would be fine okay uh, what I was saying uh, I was telling you earlier is I could have done <coughs> if I remove this from here and use this like indexing this will <coughs> this will uh, raise an error if in case there is element is not present uh, in case of these it indexing inside the uh, export it will simply return none if the file if the element doesn't exist so we got what we needed and uh, let's print that out and see what uh, if we have any error or something author tag one tag two tag three okay cool all set uh, anything else we will be parsing through pages later let's test this one first okay let's call our function here cool let's run this code let's let's okay I need to look at to my file first okay project tutorial okay tutorials school now CD script to Google Sheets okay now I'm all set let's uh, run my file Python script one dot by let's see what it what we have got here okay it has an error let's see what is wrong here mm. okay invalid expression line 23 Mm -hmm. apparently everything looks fine to me let's see what is wrong here container.export tag mm -hmm. okay beg your pardon something is wrong okay I forgot to put a slash here well let's run it again okay what we have got here what uh, exactly that's all we uh, we needed uh, okay let me make it a little bigger for you to see okay here we have a, a code okay now we have a Albert Einstein author and all three tags Sam here three name uh, okay we have multiple okay single author and tag that's what I was talking about if I used if I had used uh, indexing here it would have raised an index error so it's just returning empty which is uh, saving my code from uh, crashing and stopping f at the second row okay this is this looks good uh, so what uh, I'm going to uh, do after this is I will be uh, looping through uh, multiple pages and I will upload this to Google Sheets and then I will transfer my uh, code to virtual machine I'll tell you how to set up a virtual machine and everything uh, in next video keep watching if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this channel don't forget to subscribe have a nice day